my channel you can see an exercise we did last year like it's very simple you will see it's basically uh, the reveal of a signature okay and then well in this case is a photography of the celebrity that uh, you know just to relate the signature with the with the famous person so how we are going to do this is basically uh, making the after effects to reveal using an stroke effect and following a path that is um, is auto trace from a graphic in this case the graphic is something we have to prepare to provide so this is the signature from the wikipedia page uh, if you go to photoshop with this file uh, you can for example uh, prepare the image by splitting the components that are uh, you know the foreground and background you don't actually need to do this because um, uh, one of the ways of doing the auto the auto trace is uh, using the the luminance you don't need to do that okay but uh, just in order to show you that this is possible as well layers okay and i'm going to select color range and i'm going to select the information that is with the black or gray or whatever it is and then uh, i'm going to increase this a little and that should be that actually should be fine you see everything is already selected so actually you don't need to do anything if you select this channel it will create okay a new uh, channel okay and that's something that you can use uh, you it can be also possible or more simple if you just copy and paste and that information is already having an alpha channel which is the same as saying transparency I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to save this as signature in the after effects I'm going to create a new composition and as it is uh, usual in this kind of modules we are going to use 4k and 25 frames per second gonna keep it gray maybe I'm going to make it a little longer like eight seconds okay so imagine that I want to do the animation like in the first six seconds so I will set up the work area for five or six seconds and now I'm going to import the file When importing the file, in this case, it's important to import it as footage. Okay, it's that. Uh, you're going to choose a layer. Is that way you are sure that you are importing things with a transparency? And that's that's the way you have it. Oops. Okay. So it doesn't look very good maybe in a larger resolution it will be okay oh yeah it is okay it's okay so now what i'm going to do is basically auto trace the image so i can tell uh, the after effects uh, which parts of the image are corresponding to the mate and which parts are corresponding to the alpha the transparency so that way i'm going to tell the the program where to go in order to reveal all the signature so this is a property of the layer so i select this layer you can also rename that if you want uh, that's usually a good thing to do okay and then you go to layer and then you go to auto trace 
So Auto Trace is going to tell you what is the system to do the Auto Trace. So you can, as I say, use the Alpha or you can use Luminance. And because it is a black and white thing, probably the results are very similar. So, but I did it on Photoshop on purpose, so I wanted to do it in Alpha. This is a very simple case, so you probably don't need to modify these properties. And when you do OK, you will see that it has created automatically all kinds of masks, okay, and the anchor points that are revealing the whole signature. It has one, two, three, if you notice, there is another color, four and five different masks. Okay, at least, no? or this one is a six. So you can see that here, if you select M, and you see one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you go to effects, and you go to the family of effects, all uh, stroke. Okay, so this, uh, this one is something that you can apply on this one and you see here it has created a, a, a null okay or you can apply that to the the same same layer the same matter in this case is going to be very similar i'm going to apply that to the new layer generated so i can just you know lock that one and in relation to this you see that when applied to that, it's uh, applied to a different mask. You can select any of the six, or you can select all masks. Okay. If you select a color, this is only for visualizing purposes. So don't worry for that. You, you see now where the effect is working, is generating and a stroke all around the image okay but this is not animated yet okay it's just generating that okay the way it works is uh, reveals it can be on original image or can be on transparency if you notice on transparency you will see there is nothing there the white image that was uh, created before is not present it's just um, it's just the stroke okay and then you have a own original image that is uh, keeping all together the white and the red and then you have reveal image which is only the white part so it doesn't matter the color no uh, again could be uh, we are going We are going to keep, in this case, um, revealing original image because I don't want to add anything on the on the image. I was just to keep exactly what I trace. Uh, then what we can modify as well is the size of the brush. In the moment we do enough uh, thickness that should reveal all the image you see that should be that should be enough 20 okay 20 that's it enough to reveal all the image okay so now we have all the signature again and the only thing that you have to do is to animate the properties that refers to the start or the end uh, the start or the end of the of the animation okay because you see with this method you have two problems and it's due to the uh, nature of the masks the first problem is that the order is not exactly the order we would like to it's not from left to right and the other uh, problem is that uh, it's not really exactly tracing the signature what is doing is corresponding to the different gaps okay here for example in the interior of the fonts 
or the interior of the heart so yeah I mean you can use this it's fine it's nice it can be faster you can you can play with that but there is another way to do this and the way it is just instead of using auto trace you're going to literally trace that yourself uh, so uh, you don't need to worry too much about being uh, very exact okay uh, you select this you can do uh, you have to select the signature it's very important if not you are creating a shape and you don't want that so you can you can be you know uh, more accurate or you just to be fair you can just uh, do more points okay and then later you you clean that okay you smooth the the composition if you want okay so that way you are going to define first the Ariana okay and then later you can go to something like the heart or, uh, or like a little bird you show that you are following the same uh, order that you would do if you were signing this and I think that is the best way so don't worry too much about being accurate because we are going to uh, modify later the thickness of the and you can also modify to be fair the different points so you shouldn't worry too much about that this is the reason as well I selected this signature because it's very uh, it's very simple so I think it's a good idea to do that in the same um, in the same uh, trace okay so I think probably you do that this way okay do a heart okay and when you finish the heart you probably go to do the little bird or whatever it is this okay which is something like this so that way we'll do this Ariana Grande heart you can also modify this later if you think for example you're not covering very well the heart you can add a point and you can uh, you know that way okay so don't worry so much about this you can also select all of these and do it a little more rounded okay just selecting all the points and I can make this you know that way I change that to more rounded I think that that should be enough okay and now that I have that and it's everything on signature I'm going to apply the effect uh, generate is here no uh, it's called a stroke okay so a stroke uh, because it's black I can use the white there is only one mask so I don't need to select more masks and I don't have to worry about being uh, doing all masks or sequentially so I'm going to increase the thickness until I see that the whiteness is covering the whole thing so something like this so obviously I'm not going to use this so don't worry what I'm going to do is to reveal the image so it's going to reveal the image okay if you want you can change that later when you have adjusted the speed and the direction and now that you have this let's do it uh, manipulated the end so you see much more simple now I animate the end and then I go to the second number I think it probably is better in three seconds or something like that uh, and I'm going to create 100 so this is the animation I'm going to previsualize okay 
Okay. This is what I'm going to do. But I don't want this to be painted as white. I'm going to do it by revealing the original image. So that way this is this is more or less what I want to do. Okay, let's see if that Okay, more or less, you can do better if here you are sure that the thickness is not that high, but then maybe you need to uh, be more um, exact, okay, on the use of your, uh, of your pen, but yeah, you can reduce the brush size here. So maybe that way. I don't know if it would be enough, but as I say, if you do that, you probably need to be much more exact in this. Okay. You can adjust anyway. Okay, and if you do it with the speed, the right speed, probably that is not going to be noticed. Okay. So that's that's all. Uh, now is the moment to uh, combine with other effects and just try to uh, you know do something nice with this signature, changing colors, adding a a nice background. That's up to you.